Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for February 2nd of 2023. Well, it is titled Reflections on the 1970s. So what do we see here? Well, here we see three of the 1970s and those are reflection nebulae. Now they're 1970s because that is where they fall in the NGC catalog. And in fact, we look at NGC 1977, NGC 1975, and NGC 1973. Now often these are skipped in terms of photographs like this, because they're also very close to the Orion Nebula, which would be NGC 1976. So that very prominent uh, nebula kind of dominates the area and is a favorite target of astrophotographers. But here we see these three nebulae, which are example of reflection nebulae. Now a reflection nebula occurs when there are hot stars which will tend to emit more blue light and they are embedded in a, a light layer of dust so a little bit of dust around them and the dust particles will reflect light from the stars and scatter it all over the place. And it gets the blue color distinctly because the blue light is much better scattered than red light. When the scattering of the dust particles, it is the shorter wavelengths or blue light that are better scattered. And that, that's why we see them coming from all directions, giving the illumination of this nebula and giving it that distinct blue color. Now you notice in the middle between these nebulae as we're centered on them NGC 1977 uh, just below the center and then NGC 1975 and 1973 above to the right and to the left uh, as we see them. In between we do have some of the red glow of an emission nebula. Now an emission nebula is different than a reflection nebula in that it is the emission of light. So it is emitting light It is hydrogen gas there that is being excited and giving off light and the red glow is the specific color that happens to be associated with hydrogen gas and the color that it will give off when it has been excited by ultraviolet light from very hot stars. So the same stars that can be forming the reflection nebula can also be reform forming emission nebulae at the same time. Their ultraviolet radiation can do one thing in terms of exciting the hydrogen gas and the shorter wavelength blue light gets scattered all over the place giving us the distinct blue color of the reflection nebula. Now we'll also notice some dark dusty areas some denser than others uh, that are scattered around here as well and that would be an example of a dark nebula becoming a molecular cloud a much denser region and regions of star formation so much of this is the leftover remnants of star formation but there may be still a few dark dusty knots where stars are continuing to form at this point. So that was our picture of the day for February 2nd of 2023. It was titled Reflections on the 70s. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.